Hi, this is TJ with Piano Clubhouse, and today it is my pleasure uh, to teach to you The Greatest Love of All, as uh, performed by Whitney Houston. It's in the key of uh, B natural. I'm sorry, uh, A. A natural, and it changes keys up to the key of D. And it goes back and forth between the two um, through the course of the song. Uh, probably one of my favorite songs uh, listening to and playing um, growing up and even to this day uh, so it's my pleasure to teach it to you okay so starting out uh, right hand we're gonna go the melody a g sharp f sharp e d e and once you hit this get to this e you're going to hit this E major chord, G sharp, B, E. That's a simple way to do it if you just want to run the single melody. Or um, if you want to kind of fill it up a little bit more, which is kind of what they do on the recording, you can play uh, the C sharp with the A. I'm sorry, the B, I'm sorry. The B with the A. So you keep that B there while the while you're doing the run up here. A. Okay, so this B just hits with every one. Then that last one, you land on that E major chord. Okay. showing you just the right hand the whole introduction I'll go back and show you the left hand in a minute okay just pay attention to the right hand so after the E major chord you're just gonna go to an A major chord A C sharp E you can add leave that B there if you like next you're gonna go to a D major chord A D F sharp Okay. And remember these basic triads, these major triads, I'm going, to, I'm going to be using them quite often throughout the song. I'll say D major, or I'll say A major, or I might say E major, okay? Um, I'd rather not have to call out the each individual note each time. I should be able to just call it the triad, and hopefully you're writing them down or memorizing them, and you can learn them pretty quick, okay? E major. A major over F sharp, D major, A, D, F sharp, and then the run goes again, or you can, and again, you can do fill it up again, and that's a little run you can kind of add in there, A, B, A, okay, leading up to the bass note. start the song. Okay, so right hand one more time. D major, here comes suspended, and then down to the A major. I believe the children, and then we move on from there, okay? Left hand. Uh, the primary bass note is going to be E, D, C sharp, F sharp, then B, then it repeats, E, D, C sharp, down to B, then E, then it ends up on A. Okay, one more time. E, D, uh-oh. C sharp, then up to F sharp, then down to B, beginning, and up to F sharp, now B, then E, and then A, okay? So, um, that's the 
basic way to do it, if you want to fatten it up a little bit, we can add a second note. Your pinky is going to always be playing that note I just showed you. you can, we're going to add a second note with one of these fingers to kind of help fill in the voicings. Okay, so with this first, with the E, we're going to add this B. When the left hand goes to D, leave this B. Then when the left hand goes to C sharp, go to G sharp. Okay, so it's... Then when the left hand goes to F sharp, F sharp and A. Then over the B, F sharp with the B. Then it repeats. Then we go to B, again, same thing. Now we go to the E and the B, and then end it right there. slowly uh, let's see and I'll go ahead and just play it all play it full uh, with both hands and the fir very first note don't play this B just play leave that a by itself okay don't throw them the B until you get to that G sharp slowly Instead of going, instead of making that just a straight walk down A, G sharp, F sharp, instead of hitting that G sharp, play a grace note off of this F sharp first. Okay, you're going to flip from the F sharp to the G sharp, like that. And that last, uh, once you get to this, that last, those last two notes right there are rushed. Rush those two. Don't just play it straight. It's not this. Bum, 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 bum. The D and the E aren't the same. You don't hold them out the same length of time. You actually speed the tempo up or speed those notes, those notes up there. Bum, bum, bum. Here, speed up. Bum, bum. Okay? Don't hang out on that D. You're going to hit that fast and then hang out on the E. Okay? Instead of, uh oh, that's not it, here's the real one. Okay, so you hear the difference of the tempo, be sure you rush that from the D to the E. Alright, that's the introduction, uh, let's get right to the, uh, to the introduction of the song. Uh, I believe the Jew. Part of this verse. It starts, it's going to start out with the left hand, so we're going to be A and E. This part, you can't, there is no basic bass line. You've got to do it the way I'm showing you here to give you, to give you the sound uh, that's in the record. So we're starting out with A and E, 
then this E is going to move up to the left half steps. I believe F, children, or then F sharp. This A here to stay. This is the note that's moving up. Again, I believe the children are our future. F sharp, keep them well. G, let them lead the way. Can you hear it kind of building? Next, left hand goes up to, um, to A. I'm sorry, D. Now, at this point, it's where the right hand is going to take over that movement. Let's go back to the beginning, add the right hand. So, right hand is on A major chord, A, C sharp, E. I believe, stay there, stay there, stay you. so you're going to stay on this A major chord, this whole progression, this whole left hand progression. I believe the children are our future, keep them well and let them lead the way. Next, when the left hand goes to D, right hand's going to just leave this A here and shift up to this D major chord, A, D, F sharp. Now from this point, this thumb is going to continue the walk up while the D and the F sharp stay. Uh, 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 up to A sharp and up to B. Now once you get to this B, you're going to go back down to A sharp. A lonely place. Now we're at left hand is on C sharp, right hand is on an E major.